Hey there, this is Catherine. I am sharing these adorable graduation pocket cards from scrapbook.com. I picked these up. I picked up a couple of other packs as well of different um, themes. And I'm just doing a little quick flip through to show you the cards that you get in this. Uh, they are double sided and they're three by four inches, the smaller ones, and then the larger ones are four by six. Um, I had a graduate last year from high school, so it won't be long before there's another graduation season coming up on me with some new graduates. So I decided to challenge myself when I got these and make a few cards with them. Super heavy card weight, uh, nice cardstock weight to it, and um, I'm going to stamp on these as well. So just a lot of fun to be had with this, and sometimes... Things like this are a good kickstart for me if I get something that gives me a little bit of inspiration and then I can shop my craft stash and find some things to finish them off to create these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm trimming these larger cards down to four. So that was already trimmed to four, but five and a quarter, which is just a little bit uh, smaller than an A2 size card. So I'm going to use, um, I've got some black cardstock cut to an A2 size card ready to go. I've got these, a couple of congrats dies. These are from Diamond Press that I've had for years. I'm sure they're not available anymore. But that stamp set is from Paper Tray Ink. I think it's called Hats Off to You. Um, I'm using the stamps and the dies on that. That's where I get the numbers from. I'm going to get the uh, graduation hat from that, and then there'll be some little, those kind of confetti celebration stamps as well. Okay, so I'm kind of laying out my um, plan here. I cut the congrats from a piece of foil, blue foil paper. So you can make your cards whatever color you wanted to. That's what I love about graduation cards, and especially since these are a neutral um, color of black and white you can change it and build on that to create anything you want so i'm taking these two little kind of um, confetti celebration fireworks stamps and i'm going to randomly stamp these onto this uh, paper the cardstock and it stamps beautifully they're not coated so they just they stamp just like a beautiful paper um, you would expect it to do so i'm very happy about that Okay, so I'm going to finish this off on the side. I'm just using some Gina K uh, Black Obsidian Amalgam Ink, my favorite black uh, ink that is always on my table. So I'm using that, and then I will adhere this to my card base. And you can see, again, they're double-sided, so um, you can use either of these sides. And I've just gone and picked a few, and I'm going to create all these. I think total I'm going to make nine cards. And then I'm going to come back here and add my congrats out of that foil cardstock. I love to use foil cardstock. It makes it easy and it adds, I love the shine that it adds. It's a little hard to photograph. So sometimes I feel like it looks a little flat in pictures, but it's so pretty for the recipient. And it just kind of adds a little bit of an elegance. I'm going to use my tweezers here to lay this sentiment on here. One of my New Year's resolutions is to use my tweezers. I've had these for a while and I tend to forget about them and then I get glue or little stuff everywhere. So that's one of my resolutions. And there I am on camera proving that I'm using it. All right, I've got a, one of these larger cards, again, trimming that down to five and a quarter. And then I love that large grad kind of block um, grid with the four letters stacked on top of each other. I think that is so cool. I've, I'm adding this to a white card base, and then I will add one of the uh, graduation caps. Um, off camera, I took a few minutes and stamped the graduation caps in a bunch of different colors. I used green, red, and blue, um, and I went on and cut them out so I could assemble these on camera. And But you could make them any color you wanted to. That's the fun part about that. If you have a graduate whose school is a certain color, um, you can just stamp that out for them. So that's always a fun benefit of being able to make your own projects. Okay, I had cut that smaller congrats out. I found some glitter cardstock just lying around, and I thought that would be a nice 
finishing touch onto this card. And that one is ready to go. All right, next up. I have, I'm going with the blue tone on this one. I've got this fun congrats card that has the graduates in the front happily throwing their uh, caps in the air. And I am using a, uh, like a medium blue cardstock. And then I have a hat that will sort of coordinate with that as well. I'm popping this up with some foam dimensionals. And I will add that to the middle of the card. I'm just trying to get a good placement. I want it to look like it's sort of moving with those caps. Um, I'm also going to pull out a little bit of Stickles glitter glue. This is a great way to finish cards like this. Um, if you want to add a little bit of something, but maybe keep your dimension not too high. I love to add glitter glue to anything. Okay, I have cut some layers with this next one. For the tassel was worth the hassle. I am using red and black. I've got an, maybe one or two other cards that have red and black. Um, I'm a Georgia Bulldog and we won the national championship this year for football and so we are totally channeling red and black right now as our school colors. We are so delighted and proud of um, that team. So you will see some red and black in this one <laughs> and that's why. Um, I do have some green in this next one to kind of balance it out. And I've got this Let's Celebrate card. I decided um, you could just leave it plain, but I thought I would use one of the stamps from that set. Uh, graduate. Let's Celebrate Graduate. And um, so I thought I would stamp that into the green that's sort of similar to that cardstock. And then I will layer this all together and I'm gonna finish it off with one of those graduation hats with some of my foam adhesive. And again, just so quick and easy, but these cards look so great that all you have to do is just add some layers and you are done. So just very, very quick and easy, which is great. And I'm so happy to have these cards ready when the time comes that I can actually get them out of the door in a timely fashion. So I'm, ex I'm excited about challenging myself to get these finished. Okay, a little more foam adhesive here on that. And this card is done. Next up, I found this little card in the package that has the diplomas that I liked a lot. And I was trying to figure out how to use it. And I wanted to use it with the Bravo. So I decided to trim. It's about an inch um, for and I'll put one at the top and at the bottom to kind of frame that Bravo and you could add layers underneath this some colors if you wanted to to contrast that I just kept it pretty simple and I'm going to come back and add this second piece of the diplomas they're going a different direction and I actually ended up liking that a lot of adding a little bit of interest and some movement in the card and taking it off the page a little bit Okay, so this one is really quick and easy. That's it. Takes a couple of minutes to put that together. All right, next up, we've got some more with a little bit more red and black. And I am going to stamp the word graduate over here. And um, I will get that. I'm going to, I'm just doing it very random. I'm kind of placing my card on there so I can see where it is I'd like to see a little bit of the words but I do like the interest that it adds to the card and then I will glue that down so that's just a kind of fun way to do a little bit of random stamping it didn't take very long at all and adds some fun uh, details to your card to kind of jazz it up if you don't have another pattern paper or something like that I like to add little stamps in the background okay and that is it on this one Let's celebrate. Excellent. Okay, now next one coming up right here. Okay, we've got another one here. I'm going to trim down one of these larger cards. Same drill. I'm just taking my time. I'm choosing, um, I'm going to cut both of these sides off because I wanted to try and keep it a little bit balanced. So it'll end up being that five and a quarter. And these cards are just so fun. I love the fonts. And the colors, it just, um, just you can build on it a lot. So, okay, I'm going to add this glue to the back of this one. Again, another 
black card base A2 sized and then I'm going to come back with another of those one of the two congrats this one however is in gold foil so that will go on the top of here and I am done with this card again another quick and easy one right there okay and this is the final one class of and I stamped in that 2022 with a blue that was similar to that cardstock and then I had a piece of the gold foil left over from the other one that I cut out and I decided that that might be a nice little uh, finishing touch at the bottom I'm just going to use some dry adhesive on this to make that quick and easy and that's it on that one you could add another graduation cup cap to that you could dress that up for sure okay so let's recap these are the ones that I made and they really did not take a lot of time once I kind of got an idea going and I found a stamp set that I wanted to use these uh, really flowed pretty easily so I encourage you to check out this product it's fun if you enjoy making things like this and um, be sure to like and subscribe and share I had a blast using this and I am excited to share it with you. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you had a favorite. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.